Max has a murder mystery. One beetle has been found in the collection that appears to have been shot. How are you doing? I'm Jim. Hi, Heather. He's bringing it to forensic scientist Heather Bonney to see if she can solve the mystery. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this beetle, isn't it? Why have we brought it down to the X-ray room? Well, a colleague of mine, uh, Conrad, noticed about a year ago that this beetle has got circular holes in it. Yeah. And um, it's quite well known that in the Victorian times, occasionally people who are out shooting birds for specimens would see a flying beetle and take a shot at it. And um, this is a goliath beetle. This is one of the largest beetles in the world. And they fly very high in the canopy. They're extremely difficult to collect. Now, you're a forensic scientist, aren't you? Yes. And you're used to dealing with human remains, yes. aren't you? <laughs> you know, so this yes. is a bit different. Heather, have a look at that, then. I mean, it does look like it's peppered, and the holes are perfectly round, aren't they? It does. These ones on the back um, look very much like entry wounds. They're certainly not um, exit wounds where something's come out. Um, this one at the top, um, we seem to have some bending in of the... Um, outside of the beetle, which means that it's been in, pushed inwards. Um, and then on the other side, um, we have this larger hole, um, which is, has the characteristic appearance of an exit wound. Right. Um, so it looks like the beetle's been shot from the top. Right, so it, it, it's not that the beetle necessarily has been flying over and somebody shot it. It might have been crawling on the ground and it's been shot. It looks more that way, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. That adds something to the mix then, doesn't it? Because you say these beetles fly very high. Well, so it's, it's clearly been, been shot in the back. It's been shot in the back, <laughs> yeah. So, but it's, you're using techniques that you would use in, say, um, solving a murder or something like that. Yes. And applying it to an insect. On a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent.